Have you ever wondered if Miyazaki is the same way with airplanes as Sheldon Cooper is with trains? It's official! I'm an HO trainiac! I don't know, it just keeps occurring to me. So I had to point it out at some point. All that had been said and done. I know I said in my last video that I thought Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind, the manga, was the most personal work I had seen of Miyazaki's. That would be because I hadn't seen this movie yet. This movie was really a hard talker. My friend and I, uh, we watched it together. We both cried during this movie. I just turned to her and saw her wet eyes and my first thought was my god I am so glad I wasn't alone <laughs> in doing that uh, oh real heart tiger I, gosh guess I'm so glad I decided to make this project just for this I, I'm so glad <laughs> The Wind Rises is a story loosely based around the life of the real life person, Jiro Hirokushi, whom designed the Japanese fighter planes that was used in the Second World War. We followed Yero from his childhood where he has a vision of an airplane and decides he wants to be an airplane engineer, not because he wants to earn money or anything like that. His only reason to want to build airplanes are because he finds them to be incredibly beautiful and has a desire to create beauty. We follow him from when he was a child, through his life and journey to finally build that airplane of his dreams and see the sad results by the end where the world corrupted his vision of beauty. He sacrificed so much for into something that feels much more empty. This movie is simply beautiful. It was indeed very, very interesting for me to experience the manga version of Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind for the very first time back to back with experiencing this movie for the very first time. Because what I got and what I experienced were two extremely personal works. The one from a very young raw Miyazaki and one from an old, experienced, sophisticated Miyazaki who looks back on his own long, long journey. Because this is a movie he could only make now, after his journey. It is indeed a movie about the journey and Jiro is obviously a way for Miyazaki to channel his own experience on a similar long journey. Jiro is a very quiet, polite and just an all-round good man, whom only wishes to make his vision of a beautiful aircraft come true, because he sees beauty in it. His prize for making that dream come true is his time and dedication, the precious few days he can have with the love of his life spent on this vision. And then as his vision is done and she's gone, it's all out of his hands, and other people will use it as they please. Inuendo much? Yeah, but a very beautiful one. You can tell that Miyazaki intended this to be his warm song from the moment it started production. And it is indeed very fitting. The movie is pretty heavy and has a somber, bittersweet air to it. It goes from being light and amusing, having wonderful, bright, atmospheric scenes, seamlessly wandering over to the more bittersweet, sad messages, and it's just so beautifully done. Throughout the movie, there are a couple of dream sequences where Jiro gets to talk with his own idol an Italian air engineer called Caprino. In one of those dream sequences, Caprino tells Jiro following. 
Every grey plane engineer has 10 years inside of them to make wonders. My 10 years are up now. And it's up to you to decide if you'll spend your 10 years fully or not. Be careful though. Building airplanes is a cursed dream. But pretty blatantly obvious. Miyazaki using Cabrino as a way to talk directly to his audience. That close at breaking the full fall, which has never happened in a Miyazaki movie before. I never got the sense of that before, but that was his moment to talk directly to the next generation of artists and creators and so on and so on and so on. But it was very genuine and very heartfelt and it, it really hit me. It touched really in my heart and I could only feel like saying, I will, Senpai. I, I'll try and use my 10 years to the fullest. That's all I ever dreamed about. Although I, I sincerely hope I'll get more than just 10 years because I got so much stuff I want to do. <laughs> yeah. The movie is, though, bittersweet, as it's not really taking any side. Giro decides to follow his dream, but the movie doesn't tell whether it was the right choice or not. It only shows the result and leaves the decision up to the audience. Is it right to sacrifice everything, to sacrifice the time you have with your loved ones for your beautiful dream that other people can take and misuse as they like? No matter what the dream is, whether it's making art, or building airships because truly when you really start making that kind of things and I'm talking of own experience here too your entire life ends up revolving around that only truth to be told when I'm not on camera when I'm not working on videos the only thing I'm doing is just visualizing my next video my next project my next music piece my entire world revolves around this and I have no doubt that Miyazaki's entire world revolves around his movies, otherwise they couldn't be that good. But is that the right choice to take? I don't know! Will it give you any fulfillment? I think I have a lot of fulfillment right now. If I feel like that in 10 years, I don't know. All I can do is to follow my dream. And it is this dreamy atmosphere that lays around the entire movie that just sucks you right into the mood of the movie, like any true Miyazaki film. It feels so unnecessary to say that the animation and music is amazing, because of course it is! This may even be one of my favorite soundtracks of this movie so far, and I am not sure yet. It's, it's too soon to tell. But I think this is one of my favorite Miyazaki movies. I am so glad I got to get this experience. I am so glad I made my Miyazaki project just as an excuse to really soak up this movie and what kind of a person Miyazaki is before going watching this movie. I highly, highly recommend it for any animation enthusiast and anyone who is interested in his works. And yes, for those who are wondering, that Frozen won over this movie at the Oscars is a sin. Frozen is good. It's a, it's even a really good movie. But this, this is a masterpiece. Also, this movie has Germans in it, and it really went to remind me that German is the funniest damn language ever. Is this unser Stolz? Japanese copiers alles. Meine Phase was eine sehr berühmte Sporen aus Düsseldorf. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry all you Germans out there, but your language is hilarious to me. <laughs> I'm a very, very happy person right now, and I am so glad I decided to do this project as I did it. For many reasons, I felt like I actually grew just making this project and I am so glad 
it allowed me to take the time and the mind capacity to just soak in all of these movies and what they really mean and what they are and because I spent all of this time to watch this movie in cinema I ended up feeling like such a once in a lifetime experience it really felt like something very very special to me and I'm, I'm very sure that I can look back at this and always look upon it as something very special to me and I can only be so grateful for that. And now I did it. I, I did it. I reviewed all the movies that Miyazaki has directed. Wow. <laughs> Whoa. Although, although, before we end this project, there is one video more I feel like I have to make. Miyazaki has now gone on pension from making animated movies. He has now directed and released his last animated features, but that doesn't mean that all of these future movies are just going going to go away. It doesn't mean that his influence would just magically disappear. Miyazaki was a revolutionary when it comes to animated movies and there's been a lot, a lot of people telling that they were so inspired by his work and if you go tracking animation's history, you can actually see the themes. Miyazaki, whether he likes it or not, has become an inspiration to so much great stuff. And he will continue being an inspiration. He actually managed to change things, which in itself is just mind-blowing. So, Next time, ending this project for good, we'll be looking at the legacy of Miyazaki.